Um, the uh, uh, individual referred to has been detained since the 13th of May 2011, following the revocation of her life licence by the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland. In the 17 months she has been in custody, she has been held both in the secure all-male prison at McGabbery and more recently in Hyde Bank Prison, which is a mixed prison. Uh, the person concerned is currently receiving treatment in a hospital facility under the care of the Belfast Health and Social Care Trust. In the context of the successful devolution of policing and justice powers to the Northern Ireland Executive, the responsibility for the provision of prisoner health care in Northern Ireland lies with the Department of Health, Social Service and Public Safety. This department, through the South Eastern Health and Social Care Trust, is required to provide health care arrangements comparable to those available in the community. In line with long-standing practice in this House, it is not appropriate for me to comment in detail on any person's medical records or medical condition, but equally, I am keenly aware that genuine concerns have been raised about several aspects of this case in the House on many occasions, and I have raised them very frankly with the British Government. As the record of the House will show, I raised this case with former Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, Owen Patterson, on several occasions, and more recently I have raised the matter with the new Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, Theresa Villiers. I know that the Taoiseach also took the opportunity to raise the matter with Secretary of State Villiers when he met with her on the 2nd of October. I will continue to raise this case with the British Government and to convey my concerns which are shared by all sides of this House to them and to the relevant Northern Ireland authorities. Margaret Honister, Jack to Clare Daly. Yeah, thanks, Kian Corla. And uh, I have to say, Minister, I don't think it's an appropriate answer. That's not anything personal against you. But we're dealing with a situation where the treatment of Marion Price has been deemed to be tantamount to torture by the United Nations. And the fact that this treatment has been meted out to a woman on the island of Ireland clearly and continues to be the case means that we need to do more. This is an incredibly ill individual. You've outlined her conditions in solitary confinement. Uh, her tr medical treatment is not the best treatment as would adhere to various standards. She has been the subject of scrutiny of uh, a constant security watch while in hospital, while undergoing uh, medical and treatment. And she is somebody whose health is very vulnerable in any case. And it's quite clear that given that she has been interned for about 17 months now, that the Irish government needs to do more. This is in a serious abuse of human rights. And while the minister has raised it with his counterparts, I'd like to hear more about this. There are a whole number of deputies going to take a trip up to visit Marion Price the week after next. I wonder would the Taunish to join us? Because as a house here now, we have to start raising this issue a lot more. Uh, and I Thank wonder you, would the Minister uh, agree to join us in that trip? Taunish, 